Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a lovely video for you all. I'm out in the beautiful Hampshire countryside on a lovely hot 25 degree day. We decided to come out just for an afternoon session because it was so hot this morning but it's, it's cooling down going into the afternoon. And we're going on a permission that we've done quite a few times but it's one of our favourites. We've had loads of hammers off here. We've had early milled silver, loads of medieval artefacts, a couple Roman coins. It's an amazing permission really. And we're going on this one field that we've probably done the least. We call it the police field because there's an old police house up the top of the field, which is really cool. We had a couple of things linking back to that. So not as old as medieval, but still quite a cool thing. And we've had one of the best things from this film. My dad had a beautiful Charles II threepence. That was an amazing coin, really early milled silver. We've had Elizabeth I hammered coins. We've had lead art, medieval artifacts, lead trade weights, just loads and loads of stuff. It's a very, very good field, and I'm very excited to get out of there. The ground's probably going to be quite hard, but I've got my brand new shovel, so I'm quite excited to use that. I only used it once last week, but I haven't had a proper usage of it, so I'm going to give that a crack today. Hopefully, it cuts through the ground quite well. I'm sure it will. Right, I'm just waffling now because I'm really excited for today. Let's get out of there. Now that is an amazing signal. I literally just walked about probably 10 paces away from the hedge where I did the intro and already I've got an absolute perler of a signal. Very clean 90. This has got to be a coin, right? I put my XP Deus on speaker today because it is really, really hot. It's quite nice. And I don't really want to wear headphones. And then that way you guys can hear the signals as well. And I'm sure you can hear that on my screen perfect straight line on the xy axis 89 92 it's flicking around a little bit but that's got to be a coin right let me dig this up and i'll come back to you the only annoying thing about the fact it's summer and it's lovely and hot is we don't get much rain and the ground ends up like concrete so i dug out a bit a decent amount and it is in the clod it's around here somewhere so hopefully even though it's a little bit shallow, hopefully it's going to be a coin. It's just here. Oh, I think I can see a rim. Come on, is that a rim? Oh, that's it there. But oh, look, it's, oh, it's quite big. Oh, goodness me. Oh, that is not what we want. It's all good, though. First thing of the day. I don't really care. Another lovely signal there, everybody. Just come towards the middle of the field. Ground's a lot softer here. It's a bit weird. There's patches where it's really hard and then patches where it's not as bad. And luckily, there was an amazing signal right on the soft patch. It was a little bit scratchy at the start, but it's improved to a nice, clean 88. Oh, there we go. I think we've got the first coin of the day. Ooh, actually, it looks like there's some detail on there. So I'm going to keep the mud on it and then clean it up on the closer camera for you all. Definitely an old coin. Hopefully, I'm going to wipe this off and there's going to be some lovely detail. I'm going to do a little spray. Come on, we want detail. Oh, it looks a little bit corroded, but I'll be able to clean that off at home. Oh, it's definitely a penny. Oh, there's some more detail on this side. There we go. I'm pretty sure you can just see Georgius V. So it's going to be a George the Fifth penny. You can just make out his head there. And then we should have Britannia. Yeah, this side's a little bit more crusty, but I'll be able to clean that all off at home and then definitely get a date. I think it's 19... It's going to be 1920 something. I think it's going to be 1921. Yeah, 1921. There we go. Lovely. Only been detecting literally 30 minutes. That's a very good start. Let's keep going. Oh, goodness me. The ground is actually like rock. It's just not good. It's a brand new shovel. It's about a week old. It's been dug once before with only for a few hours just shows how hard the ground is. But I've got an amazing signal here. I'm sure you can hear that. 89, 
quite small, it's just so clean. Usually I'd say that's gonna be a nice half penny or a penny, but the fact it sounds, sounds quite small. I'm thinking this could be a little silver coin. But I mean, I'd take any coin. Right, let me dig this up off camera because it'll probably take me about 10 minutes and then I'll come back to you. I'm pretty sure I've just seen the rim of a coin. As I said, it was a beautiful signal. I dug it out, but it was in the clod, which wasn't, you know, the best. But I've just looked down and I'm pretty sure I can actually see the rim of a coin. Just down there, I'm pretty sure that looks like a coin rim. It looks very green. Come on. Oh, I think it's gonna be in this clump. Yes, there we go. But what type of coin is it? That is the question. Oh, it looks like an old half penny, but I actually think there's gonna be some detail on there. Like, it looks like a Georgia second, Georgia third era, but I actually think there'll be some, in, some detail on there, which is great. Right, let me clean this up and I'll come back to you. Look at that, everybody. What a beautiful coin that is. You can just make out Britannia there. It'll look better when it's dry, but I can kind of make out the date. And it's going to be 1777. It's quite hard to make out. There we go. You can just make out George III's bust. It's going to be an early George III. Not one of the later ones, which are the more common ones. That is absolutely stunning. You can actually make out his head really well there. It's weird with this field. Some coins come out lovely condition like this and others are just blank. But that is very nice. I'm very, very happy with that. Next signal, just there, everybody. You just saw me dig it up and it is uh, extremely hard, but it is just in the top here. I'm right on it. Oh, no. I did actually see that earlier and I wasn't 100% sure. I thought it was going to be a coin, but it's not. It's just the top of a shotgun cartridge. We've been in this field maybe, I don't know, hour and a half now. Same, you know, I think we're on three, maybe four coins. Couple buttons, you know, little bits like that, but nothing else too special. But we might move on to a different field, the field on the other side, but down the bottom where we haven't done as much. Just for a bit of change of scenery, we've only got, you know, hour, two hours left, but still enough time to get some hammer coins and just other coins and artifacts in general. Nice signal here, guys. Clean 87, just in the bottom of the hole. It is right there. This one should be a coin. I'd love a silver coin though. That would be amazing. Oh, can you see that? Look, look. Not silver, but look at that green. Don't know if you guys can see that, but there is some green down there. So that means it should be, it's definitely something copper or bronze. And the fact that it was an amazing signal means that it should be a coin. And it is a coin. There we go. A little half penny this time. Yeah, a bit of a crusty one. I'm not going to clean it up now because we're only here for the afternoon. And the fact we're putting out lots of coins, I want to keep going. Lovely. Come over here, guys. I'm 99% sure I've just had a coin. It was a very deep, very quiet signal. It started off as an 87 though, but really quiet, a little bit scratchy. And I dug a load out and it's definitely gonna be a little half penny. Let me get it on the closer camera. Just there guys, literally just came into the next field and I've already got a lovely clean 76. So not super high, but still it's a good number and it's just in this clump here. Come on. What a nice hammered. It's in the, oh, it's that there. Oh no. No, it's a shotgun cartridge. <sighs> Never mind. On to the next. Decent signal here, guys. About 75, 78. It's not the cleanest, but I do like that signal. It's on this field. There is lots of deep signals and some of the hammers that we've had on this field have been really deep and not the greatest of signals. So I do really like that. As I'm about to dig this up, hopefully the ground isn't too hard. I just want to tell you guys, we have managed to get a brand new 150 acre permission. Very, very close 
to this permission where we are right now um that will be available in a few months time it is um currently being you know grass being cut and all all just bits and bobs like that as it was previously not owned by anyone it was ab abandoned if you like so we're gonna be getting that soon which is very very exciting as i'm sure you guys have noticed some of my recent videos haven't been as great as the last few months and earlier this year that's because lots of our big amazing permissions are all in crop and this permission that we're on right now isn't in its prime anymore let's say that but i've got some really good things to come including detectable and i'll be going on a lot more group digs soon as well but there we go sitting in the bottom of the hole a nice clean 80. let me have a look try my pinpointer first if it's a little bit deeper i'll dig out and then i'll come back to you guys no, it's right there. Bang in the middle. Come on, I just want to flick out a hammer coin or a bit of silver. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, I think I... Oh, what's that? That's it there. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's like a little bit of copper bronze, but I don't think it's anything too special. I'll put it in my bag and I'll clean it up at the end, at the roundup when I get home, but... Yeah, one to look at later. Look, you can see it just down there. This field, the ground in here is so much softer. It is so much nicer than the other field. There we go, look at that. Definitely gonna be a half penny. It's probably gonna be another early one. You can see it's quite thick. That could easily be like a William the Third, but I'd say probably probably a Georgie, probably a Georgia second or an early Georgia third. Yeah, that one's a bit a bit corroded. But still, that is great. Even though we've done this field especially more than the police field that we just came off of. We've done it a lot more. There's still coins to be found. And they're those little signals, just like that one. That is awesome. When there's coins like that, there's definitely going to be early milled silver. Let's keep going. Coming towards the end of the day now, folks. It's probably going to be one of my last signals because I'm going away tomorrow and the ground is very, very hard and I'm going to be walking a lot tomorrow. So I don't want to destroy my feet any more than I already have done. So I'm going to finish up with this last signal here. It's a nice, clean 80. I'm, I've got good hopes for it, but I'm not 100% done yet because I'll dig this out and then I'll do a nice roundup at home view, clean up all the coins and bits like that. But it's just in the bottom there. It's it's a nice signal. Uh, I do like it. It's not really loud. It's got a decent bit of depth to it. This could be the hammered right at the end. Just there, guys. Come on, I want to flick out something nice. Oh, the ground is so tough here. We've come back on the uh, the third that we started on. That's why the ground is the ground is so much harder on here. I have no idea why. Come on. Oh, it's in here. Is it in here? No. Oh, there it is. Ooh, what is that? It looks like a musket ball, but it is really, really light. Ugh. Oh, I don't know what that is, actually. Oh, there's like an iron bit up there. Right, because we're right at the end. I'm going to clean it up at home and show you this. Oh, it's not a musket ball because it's so light, but it does look like a musket ball on camera for you guys, but there's something sticking out there. But I'll clean it up at home at the roundup. And welcome to the roundup, everybody. That was actually quite a good day. There wasn't loads up but i am very happy with the coins and little artifacts that i had starting off down here in this bottom we've got a few interesting bits this was the musket ball lead that's not really lead thingy it's really quite light and i think it's gonna be some sort of button because it looks like a musket ball but then it's got this iron corrosion on it so i think yeah, you can kind of see there's a rim there i think it's going to be some sort of stud button and then the the shank was iron and it's all corroded, which is quite cool. That there, I don't think I showed that to you guys, but it's a nice little livery button. A little castle on there, I think, which is quite cool. A little bit of silver plating remaining, which is quite nice. Basic, but nice. And then that there was that little, 
had a little medieval stud. Probably just a belt stud. It's nothing amazing, but still. Medieval, though, probably 15, 1400s. Not 100% sure on these because I'm pretty sure they um, are from a ton of different periods and like the, the age bracket on these is quite wide. Then that was a bit of copper I had. Not 100% sure what it is. It's probably some decorative piece. Nothing too special, but still quite a cool find. And of course, moving on to the coins. It's a little ship half penny up there. Nothing too special. It's 1942. George the Sixth. Big old George the Fifth penny. Proper corroded. The reason I didn't get all this corrosion off is because it doesn't look too great anyway. And it'd probably take me ages to scrub that all off. But 1921, which is quite nice. And then this old half penny. I think it's going to be quite an early one. Not 100% sure. It's quite thick. But I'm going to say it's going to be a William the Third. So, late 1600s, probably 1690s, just based on the thickness. I know his, his coins are always quite thick, and we've had a couple out of that field before. That's quite a nice coin. And then on to, I think, the best coin of the day. It's lovely George the Third. I think it was 1777 half penny. Date's quite hard to make out now because I've given it a wash, and so, like, the mud that was making it stand out was all come off, but... You can just make out George the Third's bus lovely there, and you can see George just really clear, which is lovely. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. And actually, I'm filming this the day before. I'm going to release it on the Saturday. And I actually decided to go on a group dig today. And, oh, my goodness, it was amazing. There was loads of hammers, Saxon, and also a very, very early cut half hammered that is amazing so stay tuned for next week's video it's going to be amazing also detectable is right on the corner it's very very close it's only a few weeks so if you are going to detectable always you know if you see me come say hello or obviously say hello back and hopefully i'll have some nice finds to show you thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you all on the next